super nervous I think I might be hooked on you I love the things you said, you said to me To me it seems like you like me too We can take it slow, make sure we do this right guys it's a beautiful friday morning in melbourne and i am on set to explore the yara valley today for all those who don't know me i am a kangsha and this is my channel drop and heels if you haven't subscribed to it yet do it right now i'm waiting for you to do it i'll give you two seconds done okay so today we are going to explore the Yara Valley and Dandenong ranges which is about 40 minutes from Melbourne and it's a fabulous place. It's the place where all the Victorian wines come from. We are going to visit a few places and I will show you around all the spots that I visit and what all you can do in one day in Yara Valley so stay tuned. And the first thing that we are going to do today is have breakfast obviously. Bankers. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. So we are in this cafe called Brick Lane Melbourne, which is in Kirtford Avenue, and it is full. And we have to wait for 15 minutes, but we call and they don't take reservations, so you have to wait. And it's public holiday, it's Good Friday. This is one of the places that's open, and it's packed. I'm pretty happy with their menu, it looks promising. Let's see how it is. Another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant. So I have ordered the chili scrambled eggs, and it's yum. It's time to jump in the car, and I will see you in Yara Valley next. <laughs> All Thank day. you. You too. Yeah. Same to you. Take care. Bye. 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 Our first stop in Yara Valley is the Yara Valley Chocolatery and Ice Creamery. Um, it's Good Friday today and this place is packed. We had to like find a random parking spot because there's no parking here. But it's a nice place to come uh, with kids especially because they've got really great selection of ice creams and chocolates and they make it here by themselves. Another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Oh, I forgot to mention, they have got free entry and free tastings. I think you were meant to be with me. Talk. That's like legit one kilo chocolate bar. And they have got heaps of varieties of chocolate, coffee, jam. There's like a gin gift pack as well. Which is, I'll show you. I'm pretty tempted to buy this. They have got like plenty of uh, stuff that you can buy for yourself, for someone else you have been saying, for anyone you like. And it's just like, I'm spoiled for choices. There's so much. I don't know what I'm going to get. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think. I tried a lot of chocolate flavors and then bought a few with raspberries and white chocolate. It was so good. If I can be with you, I'd rather be by. Our next stop is Domain Shandon Winery, which is one of the best ones in all over Australia and in a Yarra Valley. So you have to come. This should be on your list. You need to make a booking first before coming in. We were visiting Yarra Valley during the Easter holidays. It was Good Friday that day, so getting a spot at any of the cellar doors was a massive task. I managed to book Domain Shandon for wine tasting and as soon as I walked in, I knew I had picked the right place. The vineyards were scattered everywhere you could take your eyes to. My first impression was, whoa, this looks fabulous. But don't mistake it for being the only winery. Yara Valley has got 160 wineries to choose from and Domain Shandon is set to be one of the best. Oh, 
So the red wine being the last one that you taste. Okay. Those last two are your sweet style wines. First two are your dry, more zesty, more cooked styles. Okay. Their wine tasting menu has only two options, premium and limited with set four wines in each. We got the premium range which was $27. So the last stop of our trip, day trip to Yarra Valley is Sky High Mount Dandenong which is a beautiful location to see the sunset or just have lunch or dinner at. Um, it's like a viewing platform high up on the mountain and you can see the whole Melbourne city if it's clear. I mean it's a bit misty but you can still see something. There's like a container bar down here and there's a full on restaurant up there which is open for lunches and dinner. You can have a nice lunch here, bring someone over, bring your family over. Dandenong is a good place for friends as well as families. The entry to this place is free but you have to pay $7 for parking. this misty you can actually see the Melbourne city skyline I can see a little bit of it but not too much however it's a really hot day so not the best day to be here it's the sun is too bad Just wanna get to know you. 